Hello, I'm eating breakfast before my final day of the Pacific Northwest Game Convention. I'll find out the name for the final wrap-up video. I'm, do I'm doing one for each day. I didn't do one last night. I just uh, went to bed instead uh, when I got home. Um, yesterday was fun. Uh, when I got there, there was a... Uh, I'm eating some oatmeal because I want to get there close to the start. I need to kind of combine things. When I got there, there was this um, setup of a game of Republic of Rome from this guy who I've contacted previously by email. He lives a while, well, a few hours north of here, but it's hard for me to travel, especially by bike, um, that far. And he sets up, he has this computer program he wrote that kind of runs the game for you so that the game goes like, it takes two hours, I guess. So they were already playing. Since one of my friends was playing, I felt I could just kind of sit down. And his name is the same as mine, so when he had to get, he was organizing the event, so he had to keep getting him to do things so I could jump in. And then eventually I got to start playing. So it was uh, first time playing the game. I still don't feel like I really played it, uh, Republic of Rome, partially because I think the guy was kind of, he was getting tired at that point, so he was just kind of making decisions for people, especially since, you know, I was new, I didn't know what I was doing. And Rome was falling, and I think that concerned him. And, um, you know, people, my friend ended up just disappearing because he had to attend his stuff. And so, um, but I still got to experience the game. He put a lot of love in this program. Uh, I hope someday you can see it. it there's, there's like, historical facts will come up as, as the word comes. So it kind of gives you that, uh, what you would get in maybe a, a, a playbook from GMP or in, or in certain other games will have the historical data or the, the end notes of um, Phil Eklund's stuff, um, but just in this, this program. Uh, it was a, the group wasn't negotiating or really talking very much when I got there, so I kind of tried to get that going a little more. And then Rome collapsed. Um, but he might be there again today, I might get to play again today. After that, I set up a game of Android because some people kind of wanted to play. And, um, and we started playing it. Uh, played a four player game. I think everyone really liked it. We cut in the middle to participate in this rotator cut, which was a concept I came up with. Well, I'm sure someone else has done it too. Where you have different games going, and every 10 minutes you rotate. Uh, each team rotates the players. How this one went was the whole, everyone in a game rotated. The one I'm going to do this weekend is going to be each individual, pull, just one team is going to rotate so that people are playing with different people all the time and they're playing different games. So you're, you're going to rotate depending on how many people play. Every 10 minutes, one team's going to rotate. Um, maybe I'll have two teams rotate different directions if it's going to be. A lot of people, I don't know how many people are going to show up. So that was really fun. Um, the three games that were part of this Rotator Cup were um, Ticket to Ride, Carcassonne, and Seven Wonders. And they were all games I would much rather play in a truncated fashion. So, And everyone was like really playing fast. They were, I think the whole thing was over in 30 minutes. Which is, you know, a, a pretty fast time for all those games. Um, we did not win, we lost, we got second place, lost by two points on Seven Wonders, if we had gotten two more points. And there was one turn where I had to sell cards just because I didn't have the resources I needed. And I, I, it was, I came to the situation cash poor, um, but with lots of resource cards. So I was able to build a lot, but there was some, some holes in, in my resource array and maybe too much of some things. And, uh, but definitely interesting. I, I never got back to the game I had started, which was Carcassonne. It would have been interesting to play that way and to just kind of see where the situation had evolved and see these like snippets in time. Um, but I, I highly recommend it as a way of playing. You know, you have to come to a situation and just kind of work with whatever your partner did or your team did. And that's really cool. Um, what else? So we finished Android after that. There was free pizza. It was a very cozy environment. I mean, this was probably the biggest day of the convention. There was lots of more people there, but it was still very cozy. Um, I recognized a lot of faces, got to people, talked to new people. 
um, who were interested in games, people in the area who I didn't know about uh, who were interested in games. So that was that was nice. I think it served its purpose. There was also free coffee throughout the whole day, which I liked. Um, one interesting kind of game and world thing I, I neglected in the last time to talk about kind of personalities with games because I think that's that's um, one of the purposes of this uh, this mini series or I guess it's a series. It's not mini. I don't have a set end for when the last game in the world is going to be. Um, is uh, the phenomena of the person who's really passionate about this one game and they really want to talk to you about it. Um, I'm sure I've been that person lots of times, but it was interesting to be on the other side. And I've been on the other side to different degrees, but there was a, it, it came up yesterday, but I, I was trying to go somewhere else, um, like leave for a time. Uh, this fellow had this game he really, really likes and was a real evangelist for it. He was just really talking to me about it. Um, it was kind of hard to leave. Uh, like as I was walking out, he just kept talking, and it was like very detailed stuff about the game, kind of showing me all these things. But of course, if I don't know the game, it's, like if you don't know a, a game, a lot of games, if someone's just showing you components and saying things about it, it's really difficult to know what they're talking about. Um, but uh, I appreciate his passion, and and so and I can def I've definitely been on his end of it, where I'm just like, and this and this and this and this. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and so I'm going to go today, and then um, today's going to be shorter. I don't know if I'll have a lot to talk about, uh, but it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it.